Morning everybody, um, Mojo here. So yesterday we put the Mojo boat in the water for the first time and I gotta tell you, it, it didn't go as well as I was hoping it was going to. Um, we, we could not get the boat to stop porpoising and uh, I could get it to stop porpoising by myself, but if I, as soon as I put a passenger in the boat, um, I, it, just, it just wanted to just bounce and bounce and bounce. What I determined is that the, um, the nozzle, I think, is even at full trim forward, is still trimmed up. And at full trim up, the thing shoots a, a rooster 20 feet in the air. So um, got it back home, put a hose on it, and, uh, and dry ran it here, and determined uh, after shooting some video that even with full trim down, that it still has trim upward on the nozzle. Um, so I'll show you what we ended up doing. <clears throat> this rod right here, right here, is threaded in here somewhere. And uh, I didn't put this part together, so I'm not too knowledgeable about it, but uh, usually can figure things out. And so I took this bolt off and unthreaded it and I end up gaining about three eighths of an inch in length on this rod, which should, in theory, push the, the nozzle forward. So after doing that, we're gonna to try to put it in the water today and see if, um, if that's gonna fix it. But the, the bottom line, the bottom line is um, the boat has too much trim up and it and it just won't stop bouncing and uh very irritating with four people in it 22 miles an hour was the top speed without it starting to bounce and once it started bouncing it was violently bouncing if you tried to get it to any speed at all um and uh i know that's not normal this boat has a bunch of stuff on it that's never been done before and i knew we were going to run into a few snags but um I'm just being straightforward and honest to everybody that uh, after all this work, um, I'm a little disappointed in that part of it. Um, nobody's fault, just need to find the problem and fix it. So after making those adjustments, um, I, I actually think it's gonna make a huge difference. Um, it probably had it, it probably had a quarter of an inch of up trim, even at full down, full nose forward. It still had upward uh, trajectory. I did shoot some some video of that, and if I could figure out how to run this uh, this uh, 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 video and, um, and merge them together, I'll um, show that. But um, something to think about if you're building the boat: make sure that uh, you have down trim and up trim. Um, worst case scenario, if I don't if I can't get enough out of it, we're going to make our own rod and. Um, definitely get some down trim out of it and probably put um, um, tabs on underneath it um, to uh, trim tabs to be able to adjust uh, uh, adjust it from inside the cockpit and we'll probably end up doing them out of electric or something like that so that um, I can I can trim them while I'm driving the other thing is by myself in there um, the boat lists to the left quite a bit especially at uh, you know at five miles an hour um, I'm a big guy, so I kind of expected that a little more than I was hoping for, but <clears throat> um, not that I want to add more weight to the boat, but I might need to put a little bit of uh, ballast on the right side. Even with a full tank of fuel, it still lists to the left. And interestingly enough, even with a half a tank of fuel in it yesterday, a little over half a tank of fuel, and another guy the same size as me, it's still listed to the left. Um, not a bunch but it still did and uh, I'm not sure uh, obviously that's a weight thing so uh, maybe the dual batteries or something like that are causing that so I think um, we'll try to counteract that with a little bit of weight or the trim tabs I, uh, I would rather not put weight more weight in the boat I, I know that's you know counterproductive so um, I think we'll I think we will uh, put some electric trim tabs on the back of the boat and probably be, be able to really dial it in um, from a ride. Uh, once I did get it on plane though, it, 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 um, it, I got it to 61 miles an hour. Um, it's not tuned up perfectly right now. And um, I think all the, 
Um, I think we can get more out of it, but uh, that's about as, you know, with the way it's riding right now, that, uh, I thought that was actually pretty good. So um, hoping to get about 70 miles an hour out of it, hour out of it at the end of the day. Um, I'll keep you updated, but had a blast in it yesterday, even though it didn't go perfectly. Uh, when I did ride by myself, I was able to get it up on plane and, uh, and keep it on plane pretty easily. Um, but um, yeah, so we'll uh, see you soon.